chariot festival and procession of Rato Machindranath, the red Machindranath, god of rain and food grain of Lalitpur, Kathmandu Valley. The Rato Machindranath, the god of rain and food grain. There are many fascinating legends and lores woven around Rato Machindra, a Buddhist deity variously known as Karunamaya Bodhisattva Padmapani, Avalokeshwara Lokeshwara Loknath, Bunga Deo, etc. One of the strongest supporting elements in the composition of this, his popularity is that it has been a long tradition to worship him as the all compassionate God of rain and food grain. So, this essay will dwell simply on this aspect. Nepal is an agriculture country where more than 90% of the people heavily depend on agriculture as rain is main source of water to irrigate their fields. It is quite natural for them to look forward for coming of the monsoons. Monsoon in Nepal generally begins sometime in the middle of the June and continues until the end of the August. But the Nepalese farmers long before the monsoon commences start thinking about the weather, wondering whether they are going to have enough rain for that year. Only way to free them from this worry and stay relaxed is to pray to the rain god for the better crops. In addition, Japus also have great zeal and favor for music. No festival in Nepal is considered complete without their musical performance. They produce such an enthusiastic music by beating the drum locally known as dime and clanging pair the big brass cymbals called busha that it immediately fills the entire neighborhood with fun, ecstasy and merry making. Chariot festival of Rato Machindranath, the Red Machindra, which begins every year on the first day of the bright fortnight of Baisak in the May, proves to be the most auspicious occasion for the farmers. These people set themselves to the tremendous task of making the most fascinating chariot as tall as an ordinary three-storied Nepalese house. 
that demands a great skill. Besides, it is same Japus, the farmers, who would pull the festival chariot throughout the various routes of Patan city during the entire period of celebration. The chariot is so heavy that it takes at least 100 people to make it move. Other customs and rituals which accompany this festival that emphasizes the importance of Rato Machindra as a god of rain. According to a very old tradition, the idol of the deity is given ritual bath, pouring over of holy water. There are four big silver jars set in four different directions of this deity. On the chief priest announcement, all four priests standing around the deity hastily lift their respective jars and pour out the water straight over the idol. As very popular belief has it, the direction from where the first jar is lifted, pour out will definitely have a better crop. Than Japus, the local resident, pull the chariot from Pulchok to Gabal, Patan City, Sundara, and Jaulak Hill during the entire period of celebration.
it is said that in order to watch this auspicious ceremony, even the imported nagas, sarbans from the heaven, hang around in the air. Sometimes the people sentiment blows out into such a fantasy that some people in the crowd even strongly claim to see nagas watching the festival from sky. Then the deity is enthroned in the festival chariot and taken around Patan. The inhabitants of Patan wait with great excitement for the chariot to arrive at their respective locality so that they can make the gratitude offerings and celebrate the occasion with a big feast and fun. There are four different destination points where the festival chariot comes to health and, and stays overnight, right? Therefore, benefit of the local people. These points are said to be symbolized the four different walls situated in four different directions that Rato Machindra rules over. His annual fest visit to these four different places are associated with anxiety to see if his people have enough to eat and they have been doing well. It is interesting to note that main offering to this deity in the ceremonial worship is the rice. Devotees never forget to use the best, the most beautiful brass plates they have, which they use every day for their regular meals. The main purpose of taking regular meal plates filled with the rice is to let their food father know that it is by the, His grace that they have enough to eat, so are happy and grateful to Him for his, all His kindness. Thank you. 